This is figure 2.2 in our textbook, and it's a cartogram of population. And what that means is that the cartogram depicts the size of the country based on the population. And it is so easy to, uh, that's the nice thing about maps like this, it's so easy to get information in a quick sort of way. So the first thing that stands out to me is Asia. I mean, look at Asia. That's where the bulk of the world's population is living. And it shows that population is not evenly distributed throughout the world. I mean, we already know that. So if we look at this map, we could say, okay, in terms of the clusters, where are clusters in the world, the first one would be East Asia. So that East Asia includes China, North and South Korea, and Japan. And so that's East Asia. South Asia is defined as India, Bangladesh. Some people include Pakistan in South Asia, and some people include it in the Middle East. So it's sort of six to one, half a dozen to the other. You could kind of use it either way. So South Asia, between India and China, the two most populated countries in the world, you can see that by just looking at the map. Then you look at another cluster would be Southeast Asia. Indonesia would be the most populated country in Southeast Asia. It would include other countries like Vietnam and Cambodia and Singapore and the Philippines and a few other countries. And you might want to remember that Indonesia is the most popular, is the biggest Muslim country in the world, so it far exceeds anything in the Middle East. Okay, so we've said that there's East Asia and there's South Asia and there's Southeast Asia. And then you look at Europe, so you can say, okay, Europe has a, a sizable number of people. And then a, um, a, a fifth cluster would be over here in North America in the United States. And in particular, it's from the Tidewater area up to Boston is where uh, a predominance of our population would reside. Just looking at this map and a, and a couple of other features, you see that Brazil would be the biggest populated country in South America. You see that uh, United States and Mexico have a sizable population, um, much bigger than Mexico, much bigger than other countries in um, Latin America. Uh, you see that Nigeria is the big country in Africa. And you see that Russia also has a sizable population and that other countries have uh, very small populations. One final observation you probably can see from this uh, figure is that population density would be quite high in Asia, and in fact it is. And as your textbook mentions, we could talk about arithmetic density or physiological density or agricultural density, but any way you cut it, when you're in Asia, when you're in India or China or Japan, the population density will be quite high. And it's real different um, for us because we have such a, a big country and a small population relative to our big country. So if you've ever been to Asia, it's just not, it's sort of like being in New York City. I mean, there's just people everywhere. So the takeaway from this slide, you ought to know for sure that China and India are the two most populated countries. You ought to know that Nigeria and Brazil are the two biggest countries in their respective continents. Um, and you ought to know the five clusters of population. Thanks.